The new Bauer X is the latest member of the recreational skates line from Bauer and if you are now asking where to put the skates, somewhere around the XLP, XLS or the Bauer Vapor X series, then you are definitely not alone. Let's find an answer to this and get to know this skate better, right after the intro. Bauer X. I still don't know what to think about this name. It kind of sounds cool on the one side, but on the other side it sounds like another exaggerating marketing move to replace a name that is pretty common, everybody knows what the name stands for, just with the letter X. According to my information, the Bauer X is the successor of the Bauer Vapor X 3.5. So would it be that hard to call this skate Bauer Vapor X 4.5 just that everybody knows where in the Bauer Vapor or Bauer Skates lineup this skate is placed? And by the way, if we are talking about the letter X on Bauer's Vapor or not Vapor lineup, the Bauer Vapor, Select has this X written on its heel. But at least the little Elon at Bauer didn't have too much influence, so the Bauer Vapor Select is at least called Bauer Vapor. I expected it to be called X 4.7. But yeah. Not great, not terrible. But now let's finish the small rant about the new naming system of Bauer's line of skates in the Vapor range. Let's talk about the skate itself. It's sitting in the recreational skaters area of the skate series of Bauer. So we are above the XLS and the XLP, somewhere around the area where the old X 3.5 or Vapor X 3.5 was sitting. So this skate is made for good hobby skaters, hobby players and everybody who doesn't want to spend too much money and wants to have an uncomplicated but still very solid skate. And as I mentioned before, I think this skate should be part or has to be part of Bauer's Vapor line. So in the Vapor line you have this very tight narrow V heel that gives you a very good fit, a very aggressive fit for the ultimate power transport over the skate to the ice and you will also have a very narrow forefoot area so if you want to have a skate that fits you very tight like a second skin then this skate definitely is a good choice for you and if you like this skate review about the Bauer Vapor X so far and you want to see more of them then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel back to the skate which is like the most skates in this price range not made for baking not made for thermoforming I don't say it's impossible but I wouldn't recommend it but the good thing is you can't just buy this skate in a standard width you can also also buy it in a wide width. You can buy it in D and in EE, especially for me who has a very wide foot. It's an advantage to be able to go for an EE version of a skate and in this price range to have this option is just awesome. You can find the Bauer X online for around 200 euros and if you want to upgrade to the T-Blade system then it's around 300 euros. But just till Sunday with my code Alpine Ice Freestyle 15, you can, as expected, save 15% at the T-Blade online store if you buy this skate. So the price for the upgrade to the T-Blade system with this 15% discount code is nearly gone. I would recommend you to use this chance available just till Sunday. Now let's have a look on the spec sheet of the Bauer X. This skate is made out of a one-piece decom quarter package, and I have to say it with a just great design. Just look at it, not just because blue is my favorite color and blue connected with black always looks awesome but also this glossy shiny outside this skate just looks cool and with the blue metallic stabilizers perfect combination i just love it on the inside of the skate you have a sublimated microfiber liner with soft ankle padding and a 40 ounce felt tongue and on the outside of this felt tongue you have this special mesh material protection pad as well to protect you from puck hits and to increase the comfort even more on the inside as well we Inside this very standard footbed you have this very thin cheap lightweight in my eyes useless piece of plastic insole that I highly recommend you to replace with this insole this is the Sunbed 6 anatomic insole I'm using this insole for years it increases the performance it increases the comfort I love it and look at this insole it's four years old it's been in the washing machine for a few times and it still looks good and it still has its form, its shape. Link below, 
highly recommended. Also highly recommended, my latest piece of merch, Eat, Sleep, Freestyle, Repeat t-shirt, available in my merch shop right now, linked below. And with that, we finish off the commercials and get back to the skate, the Bauer X. I always have to stop myself from saying Bauer Vapor X. The Bauer X, a skate made to be comfortable without losing any kind of performance. Let's find out if this skate keeps his promises on the ice of my hometown ice rink, Max Eich Arena, right now. Last time I saw you, lady, we were walking other ways. Now listen, ain't it crazy? Wish you the best of your All right, guys, here we are. Let's put it on the Bauer X. First feel tight in the forefoot area, not just because it's a vapor, but also because T-Blade sent me this skate in the width of are regular yes it's available in ee but t-blade got this skate in stock in the width of r and i have to deal with it now there is some pressure in the forefoot area but it's not too bad at the moment heel area fits perfectly some small pressure points nothing too bad i can go definitely tighter than with the bauer vapor select the laces are also not the cheapest laces that bauer gives away with his skates anymore there are some kind of quality laces let's put some body weight on it for the first time when you put some body weight on it the width of r is definitely noticeable i have some pressure here in the forefoot area heel area feels good with a little bit of pressure here on the ankle on the left side also there are no cutouts soft protection pads here on the top can't tell you anymore here so let's put the skate on the ice <laughs> Alright guys, first impressions about the Bauer X. Whew. It's lightweight, it's fast, it's very precise. I can feel the pressure far away from painful, but the pressure is there. Probably because of the wrong width, as I said before. Comfort, very good. The great feeling I expect from Bauer, it's also the aggressive feeling I expect from a skate that comes out of the vapor lane. And it's also the precision I expect from such a skate. And to test out precision, we have to go to the next chapter, which is footwork. <laughs> guys footwork what do i have to say as expected again the skate is lightweight the skate is powerful the skate is absolutely precise so this motions that i need for footwork the edge of the skates the pressure point is exactly where i need it so this kind of power and precision works the next step will be line breaks let's go <laughs> Again, in the vapor line, or a kind of vapor line, I don't have as much power as this skate can take. It's lightweight, so at the moment you are running, you don't even feel that you have a skate on your foot and the stops both sides. Absolutely precise, no jumping, no wiggling, nothing. Line breaks work perfectly. Next chapter, precision stops. guys precision stops this skate delivers precision this skate delivers power this is what those stops need perfect match as you just saw the stops are a hell of a lot of fun they work perfectly and now it's time for the next chapter which are ground touches <laughs> Oh, 
Probably I'm saying it too often. Power, precision, this is what you need, not just for freestyle, but also for hockey. This is what this skate delivers. The most important thing, I had a little bit more pressure as I put on the skate an hour ago than in the Vapor Select, because the Vapor Select was an E-Wift. This is a regular Wift, but still now, after testing the skate, I have less pressure and less pain than I had with the Vapor Select. So this skate is not thermoformable, not moldable, and there's definitely no need to do this because it fits perfectly, it delivers performance right out of the box. Yeah, totally happy with this skate and this price range. Glowing recommendation, you can't do anything wrong with that. Whether you're a freestyler who wants to have a nice looking, great performing skate right out of the box or a hockey player who doesn't want those 100% flex, but still perfect combination between flex and comfort. Yeah, you can't do anything wrong with this skate. And you also can't do anything wrong if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. If you want to see more skate reviews, check out this playlist. And if you want to check out my merch, feel free to do this and follow me on Instagram. That's it for today, guys. See ya!